when I did the, the seven deadly sins, you know, those are like really heavily written, conceived pieces that were driven by by the paintings and the whole concept of the seven deadly sins. And you know, they, you know, this, the seven deadly sins I would consider a heavy work. Uh, a lot of people would listen to it, they say that's very rich, it's very dense. For the virtues, I wanted to, I wanted just a very simplistic um, line on all these things. I wanted everything to be just very, very pure and very, very simplistic. When I presented this whole concept to the musicians that that I wanted them to be more than just musicians on the session, I wanted them to be like a part of the, the creative process on the, on the session. You gotta realize you're in a recording studio, microphones are going on and, and stuff is being documented and you wanna be as careful as possible because you don't wanna go out in history as you know being on this record playing that bad you know. <laughs> get into these projects, like when I got into the Seven Deadly Sins, you begin to, you begin to realize why these things have been around for so many, so many years, because there's a, so much depth and richness of, of history in, in, in that. There are so many types of virtues. I could have done a suite of 25 different virtues, you know, there, there's, um, but then I had to, had to kind of say, well, listen, I need to focus this a little bit. So since I did the seven deadly sins, then I found the parallel to the seven deadly sins, which is called the seven heavenly virtues. <laughs> 